So imagine it's really good in an RTS game that you can fight off an entire alien invasion just using your head. That's kind of the plot of Ender's Game right there. <laughs> So Ender's Game is based on a book. I haven't read the book, but I still enjoy this movie. This alien race called the Formics tried to wipe out the human race, but one commander, one heroic commander, sacrificed himself so that we can live on. Fast forward a couple of years, humanity is afraid that the Formics might try to invade us again. So they start training all these kids to become really awesome commanders. So the movie wastes absolutely no time introducing us to Ender, our main character. Ender as a character is really interesting. He's tough, he's super smart, he's kind of brutal, but at the same time he cares about how he's acting actions influence other people and their consequence. The kid who plays Ender does his job really well. Harrison Ford is also in this movie. He plays this really tough ass commander just wants to make sure Ender succeeds at being the commander that he's supposed to be. I would say even the supporting characters were really well done. Maybe they're a bit underused but for the most part I would say all the supporting characters did their jobs well. There's some really awesome VFX sequences in this movie. For one, the battle room where all the students train about like strategies, formations and tactics. It takes place in this like zero gravity dome and it reminds me a lot of Mass Effect for some reason which is always a good thing. But the real highlight to me at least for the uh, space battle simulations which are just insanely awesome. I have to say though that the biggest flaw with Ender the game is probably its pacing and how everything felt a bit rushed. I mean I can understand they tried to cram a lot of plot points into two hours, about two hours of runtime. And obviously when you try to do it you can't fully develop all the ideas that were probably in the book. You can definitely tell that a lot of plot points were uh, overlooked or just skimmed past really fast. And when you think about them they definitely needed more explanation. I mean the movie is by no means boring at any point but you could tell some scenes were less impactful than they should have been or some scenes were just really fast. But for the most part I still really enjoy the movie definitely stands well as a film adaptation of a book. Yeah, it could have been better if it had a longer runtime, or maybe if it was split into a two or even three movies. Maybe that's stretching it, but I haven't read the book. So I would recommend Ender's Game if you enjoy sci fi movies or just really cool space themed movies. Highly enjoyable, definitely go see it. So that's all I got for Ender's Game. Feel free to agree or disagree, leave a comment. I'll see you guys next time.